Alright, what's that all over your face, Harrison? <laughs> me! What? I am a meat eater! You're a meat eater? <laughs> what kind of meat is it? Quail. Regan, is it yummy? You like it? This is what it looks like in a bag. Yeah, it's almost gone, you guys ate. Yep. There's one of them. I kind of burned that one. <laughs> Anyways, the kids thought they were pretty tasty. Yeah, they were very good. Very good? Mm -hmm. Yep, and you've got it all over your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's because I got more than Reagan because I love it. You do love it. Reagan, you're supposed to have the rest, by the way. Not very much left. Yeah, because I ate all of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Have them escape, and we had to catch them again, and those kind of things. Tell us how you really feel about quail, Lincoln. You're not really holding much back. <laughs> they're, they're just a pain in the butt to take care of. They're like chickens that are too small. They, when you when you cook them, they don't have much meat on them. It's true. They yeah. tasted really good, though, right? Um, they tasted good. Yeah. Dad said that um, you would have to have like two things of quail to actually be full. Right, Dad? At least two. At least two quail per person. Like, per person. Unless they don't eat very much. But even our little kids eat quite a bit. So, yeah. Hmm. Two per person that at least. Cool. Um, what were some good things that we did like about the quail? They I had... Like, it were, they were fun for the little kids to like find the small little eggs. When they were laying eggs. When, when they, yeah, they only laid like 17 eggs. Yeah, until our Only dog, one of them laid 17 eggs. Yeah. And then they stopped. Then, then the our dog the kind of scared the rest. Most likely, probably. Yeah, they did stop laying at a certain point. We, it was shortly after we got our puppy. I don't know, so the kid's theory, and maybe it's true, is that the dog scared him because he, he would like kind of go and bark like and try to get them. bark at them and like yeah just be silly I don't think he was trying to hurt them or anything but I think he wanted to play because he's kind of a big dumb puppy <laughs> so he just kind wants to of. play with everybody sure kind of <laughs> um yeah anyways so that might be why they stopped laying but the eggs didn't really seem worth keeping them for just just the eggs. Yeah. Not for the meat. Yeah. They don't give back much money, so the, not yeah. really an animal you should. If you should. see the hamburger video, the eggs are so small. They are tiny. Yeah, they're like this big, and there's like barely any egg. Yeah. Like, it's basically all yolk. Yeah. We decided to try quail, mostly because of the novelty of it, I guess. Like. I was like, I, it was, my, it was me. I like to do something quirky every now and then. Like something new. <laughs> yeah, try something new. Like the rabbit calling or something like that. Yeah. So we decided we'd give that a try. I thought it'd be fun to have our own little individual, like, rotisserie chicken, essentially. We smoked them in our smoker and then finished them off on the grill. And they were super tasty, but I don't know that they were worth the work. All together so we hatched the eggs in our incubator not all the eggs hatched so like that's kind of a downside for us and you know it was it was probably close to a 50% hatch rate and then you have to keep them in a chick brooder for several weeks before they're ready to be fully feathered and out um, on their own so that's kind of a pain um, then you have to have a pretty good cage system for them to keep them safe and keep them contained. And then they, they waste a lot of food. So They spill it all the time. Yeah. Or get their water, get it soaked with their water. Yeah, so, I don't know. They, they definitely cost a lot of money 
compared to what you get out of them. So ultimately, we decided that they're not going to be on our little homestead anymore for now. Rabbits and chickens are pretty much good for now. Yeah, we'll do some other animals too, obviously, but... He's thinking about getting rab uh, pigs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, After Jackson really the wants fences. pigs. Yes, we have to have a better fence system before we can have pigs. Oh, way better fence system. Um, butchering them was also... A pain? It wasn't a pain. I mean, they're, they're actually super easy to butcher. I would say it was like a less than... Faster. Yeah, it was less than five minutes per bird. But, I don't know, like, with the amount of time that I have, I just decided that that really wasn't worth it to me either. So... Yeah, I wouldn't say we'll never get quail again, because someday down the road we might, you try know, it again. try it again with a better cage set up and a better feeder set up and some things like that. But for now, we just felt like it, it wasn't really worth it. There are a lot of people who love having quail. We just didn't. It's not worth the extra effort for well, us. And also, they got in the feed and, like, did their little bath thing in their food. Like did a dust bath kind of in the food. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Anything else, boys? No. Mm, not no. that I can think of. Uh, and they make a huge mess with their poop and everything. Like, it's, they, they poop a lot. Yeah, that's pretty normal. We're used to that. <laughs> we didn't get rid of you kids when you were babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I did it too bad. Alrighty, well, like, share, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed our little short analysis on our quail and why we're not going to have them on the farm anymore. I also forgot to mention one of my niece's boyfriends came over. It was right before Thanksgiving, and <laughs> he works at a butcher shop. We totally suckered him into helping us butcher just because... It was convenient, and I was like, hey, let's do this. And he was a really good sport. He's a super fun kid. So anyways, we were, we had a good time with, with my nieces and my sister and her husband and, and the girls' boyfriends uh, when they came over and helped us enjoy our quail and butcher them. <laughs> so anyways, shout out to you guys. You rock.